Boris Johnson has urged the public to return to focusing on the things that matter after being fined for breaking the law. Partygate has come back to bite Boris Johnson following the revelation he did break his own rules to attend at least one party held in Downing Street during lockdown. But it would appear the Conservative Prime Minister is waging another campaign to kick the can even further down the road. Mr Johnson has said MPs should wait until they have the full facts on Downing Street parties before an investigation is launched into whether he deliberately misled the House of Commons regarding his knowledge of the events. He told reporters, I'm very keen for every possible form of scrutiny and the House of Commons can do whatever it wants to do. But all I would say is I don't think that should happen until the investigation is completed. He continued, politics has taught me one thing which is you're better off talking and focusing on the things that matter, the things that make a real difference to the electorate and not about politicians themselves. In unsurprising fashion, Mr Johnson told journalists on Thursday morning that he will remain in post and lead the Tories into the next general election, and said people should focus on things that matter. The public is split over whether the PM should resign. With a poll of 2,464 people showing 57% think he should stand down. But as the Prime Minister tries to kick the scandal into the long grass, a former minister said, I think Boris has got away with it. The most likely scenario now is that he leads us into the next election. But what happens then, no one knows. And it seems the reason behind this is Mr Johnson's lackluster cabinet. As The Spectator's Katie Balls writes, perhaps the biggest reason for Mr Johnson's survival is that it's a lot harder to imagine who a successor to Johnson could be after the sudden implosion of Rishi Sunak. The PM is clearly profiting from recent scandals surrounding the once impenetrable Rishi Sunak, whose wife benefited from non-domicile tax status on her estimated £11.6 million a year income forced the family to make a tax U-turn. This was swiftly followed by the news Mr Sunak would also be fined for attending the same party as Mr Johnson, and is considered to have put him out of the running to replace the Prime Minister.